Hi, and welcome to my parlor. I'm Priscilla Andrews with Prey Parlor. I'm going to show you how I make a silhouette on an acrylic poured painting. This process has worked really well for me, and I hope you find it useful too. So let's get started. Let's start off with our list of supplies. First, we're going to use painter's tape. Use the thick roll. Do not use the one inch strip because that will leave open edges no matter how hard you try to put it down. And so just make sure that you used the thickest painter's tape that you can get. Next, we're going to use a brayer. Our next item that we'll be using is a pen. And I like a pen with a wider end. And you'll see why later. Finally, we're going to use an X-Acto knife. For our drawing, we will need plain old carbon copy paper. As you can see, this one's been used quite a bit before, but it still works well enough for us to use it again. I've decided in this demonstration to take a horse that I printed off of the internet and I enlarged it for the painting and I just taped the pieces together since it was printed out on several different pieces of paper. Before we start the process, I need to give you some important information on preparing your canvas for this process. If you're using a new canvas, you will need to paint it with at least two coats of primer and I would also recommend painting the back and you will see why. If you don't put that paint protection on there, this is what's going to happen. This is what happened the very first time I did this process. Okay, let's get started. Position your figure where you would like it on the painting and the first thing we're going to do is just take your pen and draw a rough outline of the item that you're going to be including in your poor painting. This will give us a guide on where to place our painter's tape. Now we're going to start placing the painter's tape on the areas that we do not want the pour painting to cover. I start by laying the longest and the complete strips, usually along the edge, and I just keep filling in until I get to the part of the drawing where I don't need to fill in because we're going to be trimming around those edges. Now that I have most of the tape laid upon the canvas, I double check with my image to make sure that I have all the areas taped that I want to be taped and finished with the poured in painting. To add the image, take your carbon paper and make sure you put the darkest black part down. Arrange your figure in the place that you want it to be and that you had masked out for it to be. And then we're just going to start tracing around that drawing with your pen. And this is why I like the bigger edged pen because it won't cut through the paper as you draw around your design. I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's a black line there that shows that we're getting this done. So continue to draw around your drawing. I have completely drawn around my horse now and I can clearly see the black lines. I don't know if you can, but they're actually pretty visible and even more visible if you use a new piece of carbon paper. Now that we have the figure outlined, we have to decide how we want the pour to come into your figure. Usually I draw 
sort of a cloud shape. And so that's what I'm going to do here. I'm just going to draw some billowing clouds that are going to eventually ease into the horse pouring. The most important things that you have to do before you start cutting out your pattern is to fill the back of your canvas, if you're using a canvas, with just some cardboard or anything that will help bulk that up. Now we're going to take our brayer and we are going to bray or push as firmly as we can on all of the tape that we have. Now we're going to take the X-Acto knife and start cutting out along those lines. Because I'm left-handed, I always start at the upper right-hand corner. So try not to let this confuse you. I always say, because I'm left-handed, just do everything the opposite way that I do it, and you'll probably get it done. Now we get to start removing the tape on the inside of the pattern because that's where we want the poured painting to go. Start picking your pieces up very carefully, especially around pointed edges. And when you get to those bigger pieces, on the outside, just go ahead and take them off, but make sure they come off only one strip at a time. Now we have everything all cut out and we're going to take the brayer and run that over all of those edges as firmly as you can. Because the next thing we're going to do here now to make sure that our pour comes over those lines is take primer and I'm going to paint all around the edges of those blue pieces to seal them. Remember, I'm left-handed, so I start in the upper right-hand corner. And I do a fairly thick coat, but I don't want it to be built up. So just make it a nice thick coat to seal the edges. And do not forget to go over the side because your pour is going to go over the edge too. And now it's dry and we are ready to do our pour. Now this piece was a commission piece so I did it in colors that were requested. So now this was actually a little corner that I tested before I started shooting the video to make sure I didn't make a fool out of myself. Start and easily start teasing that paper off. Now this is a point I wanted to make. You need to tear this paper off when the paint is damp but not wet. It can't be dry or it'll tear little pieces of paint along with it. So slowly and easily tuck those edges around especially when you're at a sharp corner because that's the most vulnerable point to picking up the paper that you want to remove like that corner right there so slowly remove all of your paper and here we are my unicorn in its poured paint turned out just how I wanted it to Sometimes if I have some unclean edges, I will take my X-Acto knife and go back and gently persuade those edges to be a little bit sharper. This particular client had requested a blue background on this pour. And I'm in the process of testing different colors of blue that are going, going to complement my pour painting. So I just start out and keep testing with different colors until I find one that matches. Now I'm going to be honest, this was an ugly pour. So I did the pour over and this is the work in progress for that client. I'd like to take this opportunity to show you a couple others that I did in this way. Here's another work in progress and this one is done exactly the opposite. I removed the tape from around the horses and it's still a work in progress but a few touch-ups will take care of that. Thanks for hanging out with me today and please check back for more later.